All right, who's next? Aha! Bunny Rockette, lightning fast legend. In hindsight, I wonder if I should have used the homing rockets here. This is really hard to hit. I don't know. Yeah, but if she zipped around, I don't know if it'd stay on her. That's I never really, I haven't really used them. She's got some pretty well thought out attacks for someone who just, you know, does things for charity. I think she leads a double life. <laughs> I just zoomed right into the bullet. <laughs> well, she is not taking much damage from those pistols, man. Oh, no! Uh, well, the thing is, with the, it's like, she moves so fast that it's hard to get, like, a continuous stream of fire hitting her. You know? Yeah. Is that a shotgun? Does respectable damage and maybe I can. Now, that that sound effect I can definitely place. I'm sure it's more than one place. I'm sure it was used in a lot of NES games, but that is definitely the noise of um, a noise from Rampage, like when you. Oh! Play. I played a lot of that game. Oh, like, so good. That was one of my favorite I'd, NES games. I would play it with my cousin a lot, and you know how like when you died, you would temporarily shrink down to a regular human and then you play a lot. Of Back again. Yeah, and you try to eat whoever you're playing with before. Yeah, like back. if we got pissed off, because in that game there was like friendly fire, you could hit the other player. Oh yeah, you could beat the shit out of each other. And it was like a thing where like one of us would accidentally hit the other, and things would start to escalate. And sometimes if it was really escalating, the other would actually eat the other. Yep, yep. I remember playing that game with my sister, and someone would do that, and it was just like, well, <laughs> that was uncalled for. <laughs> <laughs> this was the same cousin I once got in a actual real life fist fight in over River City. Same guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you ever beat Rampage? Yeah. Oh, man, that took forever. It, it's a very long, long game, yeah. And all, I remember my, my sister and I beat it, and I don't remember why. Did you beat it on NES? Yes. I remember you go, like, it says, uh, you know, if you punch every once in a while in between a couple of levels. It'll, it'll show you punching a state. Yeah, I'll show you punching a state. And if you punch a state and it turns black, it means you finish the whole state. If you punch a state and it's brown, it's not finished and you have to go back. And for some oh, reason, I got her. California would never turn black. I had to go through the entire country and then go back to California. Yeah, cool. I remember that. You, you, you have to assume something you have to return to. That was the brown. only state that turned brown for some reason. I didn't get it. But then I think it took us like three and a half hours to beat. And all it says is congratulations. And then back to main menu. Uh, oh, the army. The army. Battalion. A plucky, hive-minded alien life form that defended the Earth against threats from outer space with their legendary teamwork. Overcome by loneliness, they retreated to a lab deep underground in an effort to engineer a way home. So this is the defender of humanity. <laughs> and he's going down. Alrighty. He's already overcome with loneliness. You'd think he'd just I know. be like, to see you. <laughs> Invade the top secret lab to defeat the sentient army battalion. The hive-minded, second-best heroes of all time. A lot of these little circle dudes attacking us. Little Kirby's. <laughs> this is... I guess, actually, I guess, you know, considering the whole hive, I guess in this game, every enemy is the guy you're after, pretty much. <laughs> Italian. Nice. Hey, I gotta wait for that door to open. I'm not sure if you can if this goes faster when you shoot it or what. <laughs> That's video game logic right there. Like I don't know what to do. Just shoot it. Just shoot it. Shoot it will probably work. Or right? we'll punch it. Maybe punch it. And, oh. Ow! Yeah, it says two. It says two-player co-op. Sadly, it's only local. Oh really? All right, now you don't want to get caught. You don't want to stay in front of those things too long because they charge up and they do what you saw them doing. The attacks are pretty relentless in this stage. 
Why isn't this game brought up more when uh, conversations about feminism and gaming are, <laughs> are so relevant on Twitter? Probably because she's a total shithead who kills innocent people. <laughs> there is that! The feminists just want her to go away. She's a lady who knows what she wants. And... I respect her. Well, yeah, she'll murder you otherwise. <laughs> it's true. You don't, you don't want to piss off people who have a death list that they actually act on. Yeah. <laughs> that includes, uh, you know, charity workers. And, and like, hive mind AI armies. <laughs> that's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's, that's ambitious. They wouldn't, they wouldn't be on... This isn't her first death list. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, no. There's, there's, like, a whole bunch of, like, her neighbors just buried in the yard. <laughs> Dodgeball in her class was hell. <laughs> mm. Will I make it? Yes. You are moving. Nice. Alright, here's our boss. Laser bots. Sentient sentries. No, I made this fight a lot harder than it had to be by forgetting that you can wall jump. I take a lot. I got. I got. I take a lot of hits that a competent player really would not. Even more so. Than Oof. Yeah, what I should do there is go on the wall and just tap jump on the wall and you know, sort of bounce, you know do it some Mega Man X style. Basically. How many times can you wall jump? Infinite. As many as you want. Yeah. You can just attach yourself to it. Oh, nice. This this is definitely one of those boss fights where you have to memorize the safe spots. Oh, there's a the part where I realized, oh yeah, I can wall jump. <laughs> play the video game now. Now, do you have to kill these things one at a time, or once you kill one of them, they're all dead? Uh, no. All the, all the bosses that have multiple components, they share a health care. Okay. Now, in the end, you're not going to have to, like, rescue some shitty prince or anything, are you? Oh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> Now, the trick here is these things, you shoot, they, they, they shrink when you shoot them, and then when you're not shooting them, they start to grow again. Oh. You, have to, you have to hold down their size to make it small enough to get through. Oh, that is tough. It's, tr it's tricky, like I said, it's tricky. But again, you got, there's another pl great place for those sort of, you know, lead moments where you just, you should be dead, but you're not. Or, if you're a good player, you get those bleed moments where oh, you should be dead, but you're not. That was like the very end of that, it looked like. If you're me, you're just dead. <laughs> this... funny, we... Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, this, this is an odd choice for a, like, defense... To some sort of secret base is just lights that shrink when you shoot them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the technology behind it. <laughs> but they they don't disappear, which is actually a pretty good defense if you're building a base in a video game, I guess. Yeah. All right. Now, now I mirror core. Now it turns into bullet hell, basically. Ow. No, what is that weapon that's locked down in the corner? Oh, I'm not sure. It might be... Was there one? I, I think it's probably... You probably have to beat it on a higher difficulty unlock or something. Okay, as I say, it looked like you had all of them unlocked aside from that one. Uh, yeah, I have everything that you can get in the store. There's also, in addition to... I should mention, in addition to, like, the regular gameplay, there's also uh, arcade mode, where you... Which challenges you to get through the game on one life. Oh, man. And there's arena... There's, like, this arena mode where you can fight bosses. And the cool thing about it is you can you can have multiple bosses at the same time. Oh, that's cool. Which gets just insane. That just but, ruin it ruins you because when you fight a boss, you learn there. You've got ah. multiple patterns attacking you at once. Yeah. 
That'll break your brain. These bubbles, I'm not sure if these are like sort of like new pieces of battalion being manufactured or. But oh, here we are! Battalion. I've mined heroes. Yeah, he has like a couple different shapes in terms of like that shark. That shark is one of the more dangerous ones. At least for me. Oh, and he pops up in the. You don't want basically once the shark form goes into the ground, you want to stay off the ground. <laughs> There's the bomb form. You notice I have like two percent of my health. There's the fist. Ooh. The fist that... is probably the least dangerous. That guy's like silly, buddy. Oh, he got me. Shit. Yeah. Uh, shark guy. Bah! My frothing demand for victory increases. <laughs> that should be like the catchphrase of the channel. <laughs> okay, he's got his missile form. It's gonna be on my headstone. Bomb, it just blast. Pretty simple blast out that swarm of guys. I was gonna say, that bomb is like the least threatening one. The fist isn't really that dangerous. I'd say the fist is the least dangerous. The shark ruins my shit pretty much every time. <laughs> oh, uh oh, stay up. Also, it probably doesn't help. I forgot. I after learning about it, I then forgot the wall that I can wall jump <laughs> because I'm an idiot. Yeah, the shark gives you but, no warning. You don't have to totally stay off the ground on that thing. Yeah. This rocket's just like a little persistent shithead. <laughs> Rocket is, yeah, it follows you around. Okay, is and one, 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 one of the challenges in this game is you have to like manage your like when you're in the air, you have to be careful about when you use your your, your, your extra jump, zoom, whatever, because you can only do three before you know you touch the ground again. So you have to be careful about precisely when you do them because they are a limited resource. Does that and he does that notice he if I hit the wall? That's a good question, actually. I'm not sure, because I was too stupid to use the wall jump for the most part. <laughs> I also like the fact that he dies like a Mega Man villain. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Alrighty. The Dragon. The eternal hero of countless legends. No one can remember, can remember exactly what heroic deeds it has performed, but regular tributes and sacrifices are made every day out of respect, aberration, or possibly fear. So this one, it seems like it might be an actual bad guy. Considering no one knows what his heroic deeds are, and they give him sacrifices out of fear. <laughs> or he's just kind of like a dickish Jesus. <laughs> Get swallowed by dickish Jesus, and remove his <laughs> beating heart to become the best hero of all time. This big intro part is tricky. You're going down gradually, like, in this... I think, like, you've gone in, like, in a big piece of food he swallowed or something it you have to get it looks like you're in an apple yeah and you have to like get to the uh next part before it descends further or you'll get crushed now, i'm not sure what went wrong there if those those teeth are instant death or what but it looked like there, if... there was one more on the list wasn't there it said like the idiot or something like oh that. yeah oh yeah yeah this is i said there's there's plot twists in this game oh okay 